Hi, my name is Joe. So far in the Toolset training course, we've learned how to set up our site, plan its structure, and create our content types. Now, in this chapter, it's time to learn how to display it all on the front end. But how does WordPress actually display our content? Well, it uses something called PHP templates, which are basically text files with commands written in the PHP programming language. Now, they tell WordPress how to display each type of our content, whether that's single posts, archive pages, user profiles, or anything else. And in fact, your site's theme will consist of a number of these PHP templates. In the previous chapter, we learned how standard posts and pages in WordPress are displayed similarly. Look, on our cooking website, we use posts for blog content about the latest food news. And we also have pages for more static content, like our About Us page. WordPress usually displays posts and pages very similarly. The main difference is that the posts have extra information for the post date, author, and tags and categories. Finally, in WordPress, we have archive pages. They list all posts for a particular post type. On these archive pages, each post usually has a title, meta information, some kind of an excerpt, and a link to visit it. For example, on our cooking website, our blog section is actually an archive displaying all our posts. But what about the custom post types we create? If you remember, in the previous chapter, we created a custom post type for our recipes. Now, by default, WordPress would display these recipes and all of the other custom content we create for that matter, just like standard WordPress pages. This means it will only display the title, featured image, and the main content. However, neither our custom taxonomies nor our custom fields will be displayed. This is because our default templates have not yet been adapted to display our custom content. But the good news is that now anyone can do this and all without learning a single line of PHP. Instead, we can use plugins to create our custom templates to display all of our content. In the next video, we'll show you how to do this, starting with designing templates for single posts. 